In this video, I'll show you how to deploy Google Chrome using group policy. And we will deploy it in two methods. One is when we assign the policy to the computers and the computers install the software during startup. And other one is when we publish the software to users and users can decide uh, when and what software to install. And as you can see, I'm starting this video from my GitHub page. And here you can find the own link to the installation files that we will be using in this video. And also, if you're interested in my Windows Server setup or the extra configurations that I use when deploying software, you can find it in this video list. And now let's begin this video by downloading Google Chrome. And for that, I will click on this link right here. And as you can see, it brings us into the Google Chrome for the enterprise download page and we will need to download it from this page because here we can get the msi file installer so next for the channel i will leave it at stable and for the file type instead of the bundle i will use the msi file and for the architecture i will leave it at 64 bit but if you want you can use 32 bit or both and i will click download accept and download now I will go to my downloads folder and here we have our Google Chrome MSI file. And now that we have our file, we need to move it to our server. So for that, I will just copy it and go to my Vember workstation where I have my Windows Server instances installed. And I will paste it to my desktop. And now we need to move this file from our desktop to a network share that is accessible to our users and computers. And for that, I have a server named SRV02. And as you can see, it has a software share. And here I will create another folder and I will name it Google Chrome. And I will move the MSI to this shared folder and the most important part here is the permissions for this folder so let's check them by right clicking and going to properties and then into the security tab and as you can see i have here authenticated users and the important bit to understand here is that authenticated users count both as users and computers because both users and computers needs the rights to read from this folder uh, for them to be able to install the software and if you want a bit more details about that you should watch my video about installing file server all and preparing a shared folder for software deployment so now i will close this window and go to the server manager and we can begin creating our group policies and for that i will go to tools and then select group policy management and now let's expand group policy objects then right click on it select new and let's name it assign google chrome and i will click ok then let's right click on our newly created group policy and click edit and in this policy will create settings for our computers so that the computers install the software during the startup process so for that we need to go to the computer configuration let's expand policies and then expand software settings and then we can click on software installation then right click it go to new and then package and here we need to provide the installation file for this policy and the important part is that you shouldn't provide an installation file that is on your local drive. You necessarily need to provide a file that's on the shared folder. And in my case, it's SRV02. It's the same software share and then Google Chrome folder that we created. And here we have the MSI file. And if you would provide an installation file that is on local disk, uh, it still it would still allow you to create the policy but when the computers would try to install the software the installation would fail so remember it's necessary to check the link here and make sure that it's a network path 
So I'll double click on that file. Here we can select assigned or advanced. In this case, I will select advanced. And as you can see, here are a few settings that we can change if we want. But in this case, I will leave everything uh, at defaults and click OK. And that's basically it for the group policy settings. Now we can close this window. Let's also select the policy that we created. And here in VMI filtering, I will select 64-bit OS and it will make it so that this policy will only work on computers that has 60-bit operating system. And I'll also have a video on how to create these VMI filters. And also let's go to details and here we can disable the user configuration part of this group policy because this group policy is made only for computer configurations. And the last thing that we need to do is to link this policy to organization unit that is holding our computers. In this case, I have two of them and each of them holds uh, one computer, but I will assign it only to the domain computers one. So for that, I will click and hold on the policy and then drag it to the organization unit and then drop it there and click here. OK. And as you can see, it appeared here. So that means that the policy is linked to organization unit. And now I will go to the client machine that is in this organization unit. And we will see if the group policy is working correctly. And I have the client right here. And now we need to open a command line and do a GP update. I made a typo. We'll try again. And as you can see here, it is informing us that it detected a software installation policy and installed the software. It needs a computer reboot. So for that, I will type shutdown uh, minus R minus T zero and click enter. And let's see what happens. And as you can see here, it is informing us that it is currently installing Google Chrome for us. And it finished loading up. So let's log into our machine. And as you can see, Google Chrome appeared on our desktop. And it seems that it is working correctly. And that's it for the computer installing the software. And now let's create another policy which will allow our users to install the software themselves. So for that, let's go back to my domain server. Let's go back to the group policy object. Right click it, then press new. And this time I will name it publish Google Chrome. And I will click OK. Now we need to select the newly created policy, right click it, click on edit. And because this time it's the user configuration, we need to start from the user configuration, expand policies, expand software settings, then click on software installation. And then let's right click it here, select the package and once again, we need to provide an MSI file that is in our network share. So I will click it and this time I will select published and click OK. Now it appeared in the list. I will right click it, go to properties, deployment. And in this case, I will select basic for installation user interface options. Basically, it will not allow to change anything about the installation for the user when installing the software. And then I will click apply. OK. And close this window. Now we can go once again to details and this time we can disable the computer part of this policy. Because this time there is only user configurations in this policy. And that's basically it. And now we need to link it to organization unit 
that is holding our users this time and not the computers. So for that, I have this organization unit and that's called the main users. So I will once again click and hold and drag it to the domain users organization unit and click OK here. And I will now go to my other uh, client machine and it will work a bit different this time and this time it should be sh the software should appear in the software installation menu so once again we need first to run gp update and now we can refresh the software installation window and as you can see google chrome appeared here I'll double click it. It says that Google Chrome setup completed successfully. Let's double check it. And it seems that it really installed successfully. So that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And see you in the next one.